happy vlogmas day 20 where has the time gone where has the month gone i really have no idea it's 11 30 on sunday i'm currently going to get my hair done a salon called blowout it's a blow dry salon obviously the roads are seriously so bad I anyway they asked me to come in for a blowout so i was like of course i'll come in and get my hair done so i'm going to do that right now i'm really excited their instagram is like a1 so i look forward to seeing what they're doing with my hair it's always just like nice to have someone wash your hair for you you know it feels so good i also if you guys watched my last vlog i have to go out and get wrapping paper and stuff because all of my gifts are now starting to come in i will see you guys when i'm there everybody so my hair is done i love it so we did like a nice little beachy wave i loved like whatever she put in it whatever product she used it was amazing i like i told you guys in the last vlog i have to go get wrapping paper so i'm at target right now i'm gonna run in here grab some wrapping paper and i need like a couple groceries i'm just gonna grab some like bananas and produce and stuff just to eat for the next couple days because i don't want to do like a big grocery shop because i kind of really want to go home I'm getting a little tired of the city right now it's kind of getting to me and i haven't been home since august which is just crazy so let's go get some paper i just got home from target they didn't have anything as per usual targets in the city are literally so bad especially in philadelphia but i did just pick up a couple things i needed some strawberries because i'm going to show you guys tonight the most amazing dessert recipe in the world i also want to make some gingerbread cookies i got some oatly i've never had the barista edition of this and i needed some coffee creamer so i just figured i'd get that i got a couple bananas molasses i haven't been able to find molasses anywhere so i'm finally glad like i was able to find some because like, obviously gingerbread cookies but i am about to upload today's vlog and i'm gonna go take some instagram pictures for my hair i have some tiktoks to edit for the place i just went to and i guess i have to go back out and get wrapping paper somewhere i don't know where i'm gonna go i guess we'll figure it out what up it is a few hours later i've just had a bunch of like brand and, and social media work that I've been doing for the past few hours. I just had a little tofu scramble for dinner, but I'm about to make something and I'm so excited. I really wanted to make like a gingerbread kind of cookie, but I don't have any cutouts. So I was thinking I could make ones like these and I found this recipe. I'll have it linked down below from Delightful Adventures. Sorry, my nails are gross. So let's see what we need. Black seeds, don't have those. So I'll use an egg, almond flour, gluten-free flour, cinnamon, ginger, nut make clothes baking soda salt coconut oil all right i'm gonna put you guys in here only because i just like don't feel like putting my ring light on i just don't so i was just getting caught up i was watching episode six of um real housewives of salt lake city and to be honest with you i think this is the last episode i'm ever gonna watch i just can't get into it i don't like it it just seems too phony for me i mean all of my hot favorite housewives episodes are like all vintage ones. I mean, like Jersey, Beverly Hills are truly the best to me and I could just rewatch them every day of my life. And I'm only watching this episode, frankly, because Lala and Katie are on it. It's like the Sundance episode. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm really sorry, but. Coconut oil must be salt, not liquid. How do you make it not liquid though? I don't understand. Should I just use, maybe I'll use vegan butter. Do I even have almond flour? Oh my God, I'm actually a mess. Alrighty. In a medium bowl, add the almond flour, gluten-free flour, cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, cloves. I have none of that stuff. <laughs> Pumpkin pie spice? That'll do, right? I don't even have ginger. We're making freaking gingerbread cookies. What is wrong with me? I feel like I should do this off camera just because I want to watch TV. I can't even like show you what I'm doing. Ah, shit. I don't want to be one of those vloggers that's like, Hi guys, this is what I did today instead of like actually showing you. That's where I'm struggling. Okay, so this is the mixture. Um, I just actually added some more coconut sugar because I'm tasting the batter and it was just like kind of very bland. I'm also gonna make my own icing using the swerve. 
so that should be interesting but i'm gonna pop this in the freezer for 30 minutes and then we are going to visit this all right new angle wow while that is in the freezer i'm actually gonna make myself dessert because i don't know if i'm gonna eat these right now i mean i'll definitely try one but i posted this on my instagram story but i wanted to show you guys on here just to like really really show you if you follow me on instagram you probably would have already seen so the key to this is a good blender and i just have to say that it probably won't work if you don't have a good blender you guys know i'm obsessed with my ninja foodie power duo it's like for smoothie bowls specifically so i'm gonna take the bowl lid feature what is this not a lid i, I don't know anyway and some strawberries and i'm gonna this up but basically it's like strawberry nice cream so i'm gonna throw some strawberries in to here this is kind of what gives it oh my camera's dying the dessert vibe but i'm gonna add a few packets of stevia to sweeten it up a little bit and lastly i did use nut pods but i'm just gonna use this just because this is what i have for creamer now just a tiny tiny splash of a creamer it could be almond milk too i've usually done it with almond milk also i don't have frozen blueberries right now but the best one i've made so far has been this with a little bit of blueberries into it let's blend this up. okay so this is what the texture should look like basically the texture of soft serve so this is it i am going to sit down and relax for a little bit and finish watching this episode all right we are beeping let's see oh no why did they get so big oh my god they're huge oh no every time i bake on camera this happens all right so i actually just frosted this half and then i'm just gonna keep these plain so the frosting i just put it in there that's gross sorry i just added some vanilla some of the swerve confectioner sugar and some almond milk and i mix that up so i hope this is good how about we do a little taste test and then i'm gonna say good night because i'm gonna put my jammies on and take my makeup off because my camera's dying I don't think I like the icing. It's okay. It's just very sweet. Anyway, I'm going to go because it's about 8 o'clock now. I start my first day of work tomorrow for my new job. I'm really excited. I vlogged a lot today, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, And I will see you tomorrow. Hi, guys. Good morning. It is now Tuesday. I just got myself ready for the day. My hair is still looking pretty nice. I love, like, a loose wave like this. <gasps> Oh my god, I forgot to charge it last night. Anyway, I mean, I'm just coming on to like start this clip because I have my first day of my my first meeting for my new job. I'm really excited. It's in 10 minutes, so I just wanted to come on and start the vlog. I had a nice workout this morning. I edited all of yesterday's footage, made some nice breakfast. So it's been a productive morning. I just put on like a comfy little work from home outfit, you know, look a little presentable up top. After work, I... Oh my goodness, I totally forgot to vlog, but first day on the job went so well. I'm in such a good mood. I'm so excited. I'm just so happy. Learned a lot of things. I'm very excited for the future, but I just got to Sugar Bar. Luckily, I found a parking spot, so we need to go in and do that. I, like, totally rushed here. It's 2.29, um, so I literally just made it. So I'm here at Sugar Bar again with the amazing Alex. Hi. You want to tell us? Hey. Any specials? So we do have discounts coming up um, for the holidays and we also have package deals coming up as, um, as well as some of our products that we're going to be giving discounts out with when you buy um, two or more services. We can add on some of our products and give a little bit of a 10% off depending on um, what kind of package you're looking for. So we have lots yes, of stuff come check them out you guys. So freaking cute. We love it here. Yes. I just got out. I just love it there. They're so nice and so welcoming. And just like they got the wine for you and everything like it's just like a vibe when you go to sugar bar if you guys haven't been it hurt like a bitch it always does <laughs> it's okay beauty is pain right i'm gonna go home now and justin is actually getting covid tested right now to be safe and sorry before we go home and see like family and stuff and then after that we're coming back into center city and we're gonna do christmas village and then we're gonna watch christmas movies tonight so i'm really excited it's just been a very very busy day so far Let's do a haul, shall we? I ordered a bunch of stuff from a store 
for Justin. And when I was placing my order, this deal was just too good to be true. And it is something that I wanted to buy myself for a really long time. And I ended up getting it for like 30% off. And it is the Hydro Flask. I also ordered, because it was like $4, the sip, like the straw lid that attaches on instead of like the regular one. I'm really excited about this. I finally invested in a Hydro Flask. I'm really excited just because my normal like white water bottle that I drink from is just a little bit smaller and I just wanted something that has a little bit more in it. So I just got the white hydro flask. I also just made some coffee because I'm crashing so hard. Today has just been like exhausting. I literally just haven't stopped. I just told Justin, I don't know if I wanna go to Christmas Village anymore. Like I'm just tired. So I was like, we'll just go, but I don't wanna go for long. Let's just say that. And I really wanna get Chipotle later. This is my Christmas gift to myself this year is a hydro flask. Because I'm a broke bitch and listen, I got other things to pay for like this apartment so that's all just figured i'd do a little unboxing i actually turned this on it was a suggestion it's the christmas cookie challenge so i'm gonna watch a little bit of this until we go that is what i will be doing with my time it's a little bit later now it's like 6 30. we decided to pass on christmas village tonight we're just gonna go tomorrow because i I'm tired and I just want to chill and I realized that the bachelor was on tonight So I'm like I'm just editing this vlog and we just ordered chipotle. So that's about to be here I'm very excited about that So I think I'm actually gonna keep this vlog here because I did so much in it that I feel like I should just end it now I'm just excited to like kind of do nothing tonight rather than go out and walk around in the cold. So that's what we're doing